Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and hands-on impressions review of the Filmora Video Editor by Wondershare. This is a software that comes in two versions, a free and premium model that has all the essentials covered, and they also sell special effect packages for a little more if you want to get a specific type of video produced, such as for movies, for science, stuff like that, that I'll show you guys later on. So. Why would you want to consider Filmora? First of all, it's a very simple software. And secondly, YouTube's built-in video editor tool is going away on December 30th. So if you are still using that to edit very quick videos, you'll no longer have access to it. And if you are looking for another straightforward video editing tool, this might be a good option as we head into 2017 and 2018. So you can check them out at their website, it's called Wondershare.net, and we've seen some of their other software in the past in the form of um, tools for enhancing your security for iPhone. It's actually part of the same company, and you can see the interface here is quite simple. You can simply download it uh, or contact support. And um, this is actually a fairly popular video editing tool. So one of the benefits is there's tons of community support. And going on YouTube will give you tons of tutorials as well as uh, pretty in-depth reviews on each individual uh, element of the editing tool. So that's pretty good. It's simple, straightforward, and has a very clean aesthetic, which I'll show you guys uh, later on as well. It allows you to edit your video in addition to share it instantly to social media, save it as various formats, and even gives you more advanced options if you are a more pro user. So taking a look at uh, some other elements here, on the bottom, you'll see that there are also mobile versions for iOS and Android, uh, which you can also get if you just purchase the regular desktop model for Windows or Mac, and that will give you a free download in the mobile version. Now you can see that one downside of the free version is actually there are watermarks. And as a result, you'll see that at the bottom of your videos that you produce. There's also some limitations in the free version where certain filters, certain effects, or length of your video will be restricted. And all these things goes away once you register for it. Now, one of the downsides of Filmora is it is a little pricey. Not that bad compared to other pro uh, video editing software on the market. Uh, competitors can also be Adobe Photoshop. Uh, but you can see that it costs, in terms of licensing, $40 a year. Or what I think makes more sense, a lifetime license, which is 60 bucks, and you can use it for as many times as you want. There's also multiple license packs that you can buy for corporate or businesses. And if you tap on student slash school, you can get a brief discount for downloading the software. So this is what the registration process is like. Tapping on download will give you the software, and then you enter the product key. It takes roughly 10 minutes to completely install. So that's something you need to keep in mind. Now, when it comes to the effects store, this is bonus software on top of the regular Filmora app that you can purchase separately. 30 bucks for a all-in-one uh, software, or you can buy individual packs separately. Filmora has given us a few packs to play around with, which I'll show you guys briefly when we do a demonstration later. But you get an idea here. Blockbuster set, uh, which gives you film and movie special effects. There's stuff for uh, just for shooting location outdoors. There's some stuff for gaming. So if we tap on one of these and take a closer look, uh, you get all of these special effects, titles, as well as fonts that will uh, enhance the uh, you know, overall effect of your videos, hopefully. So you can kind of scrub ahead. You get an idea of what some of these filters and icons look like that you can pop into your videos in kind of a CGI-like manner. Uh, and there's also, again, various different filters to play around with. Obviously, if you want to download all of them, they can get quite expensive. So you really need to take your pick and just get the ones that you want, which, uh, again, is a downside. I do wish that the, these software packs would be cheaper uh, from Filmora, but that's one of my only cons at the moment. So launching into the software, uh, so first things that, that you'll note is that like any video editing tool, it requires a mid-tier computer to run smoothly. I would say four gigabytes of RAM should be the minimum, and you should have a Core i3 chipset or faster. Afterwards, Filmora will launch in under 30 seconds when you tap on it. And the first time that you launch it, it's going to give you a pop-up that says things like, welcome, here are a few messages you know, from Filmora, such as trying their new effects, as well as introducing bonus packs. And there's also tutorials linked below done by uh, Filmora themselves. That's actually pretty clear and informative if you haven't tried out a video editing tool before. 
On the top here, you have a bar that gives you all of your status indicators. You can save a file very quickly. You can look at your messages and check out more effects, which just launches into the Filmora Special Effects Store. On the left here, you have access to things like file management. You can start a new project. You can load a project. You can import files. Uh, and you can also register if you haven't yet for the software. The main part of the screen here is basically uh, just going to be dominated by the files that you drag and drop, either video or sound, and you can stitch them together using various animations and sequences, which are pretty cool. So if we start at the beginning here, we see all these labels for things like media, music, text, credit, transitions, filters, overlays, elements, split screen, and export. So as these are basically doing what you would expect. For media, you can open up your file manager on the computer to load up your videos one by one, and they will show up here. Uh, you can also drag them directly into this box on the top here, and they will show up. This is a sound file. You see there's a music icon that's showing up as well. And what I'm doing here is for a silent video, I'm stitching it together with a recorded commentary, and that's how I make some of my videos. So you can see that everything is synced up correctly starting at zero, and I can also, you know, make the video start at a later point if I wanted to, trim the video down, and end it at a certain point as well. So it's pretty easy to use. You can kind of see the sound recording as a visualization down below, which is pretty cool. And they also give you some sample videos that you can play around with in terms of animations and uh, uh, intros. So this is actually a pretty cool way to create some nice looking intros if you don't have one yet for YouTube. So for instance, Countdown, this is what it looks like if I added it and it's going to run for, uh, I don't know, five seconds or so. It gives you a running time on the bottom here, an aspect ratio. You can mute the sound. You can take a screenshot. You can also play around and toggle into full screen mode. So all these things can be done just by looking at the video. What I like about Filmora is that the performance is pretty smooth and consistent. At no point in my trial run did I encounter any crashes or accidental exits. All of my files that I exported were also saved correctly and then sorted by their title and file size. So no problems as far as the scrubbing between parts of the video, and you can see how even the instant uh, kind of viewback of your video files remains fairly snappy and consistent, which is good. Anyways, if you want to look at this particular transition, I can double tap on it and also play around with things like the contrast. I can make it 3D, play in reverse, slow it down, change the orientation, things like that. And if I wanted to, I can also delete it. Over here, we also have small icons that tells us this is a video file, this is a sound, this is a text. And I can make this visible by showing the track with an eye icon, but I can also uh, make it disappear by having a slash through it just by clicking on it. So there's some extra icons that you can toggle back and forth between. And uh, finally, if we take a look at some of the other things, such as text and credit, this allows you to add, let's say, an end sequence, which I've done already over here. And by the form of the text, you can see, thanks for watching. So you just, again, double click on the part that you want to edit, enter the text over here, and you can drag and rearrange it, and the alignment process is done automatically. So the software is incredibly cohesive, and everything just works as expected. I think that's the most impressive thing about Form Filmora is how simple it is to use, even for first-time video editors. A lot of times, you'll have advanced video editing software that is either complicated or, in other cases, too simple, where you might be just doing trimming in one software, and then you have to do the special effects in a second software. Here, everything can be stitched together just in one cohesive package from the titles, from the transitions, to the special effects, to the trimming, which is, I think, the best part. So here I can also play around with the text style and the animation as well. So no animation versus a fade, stuff like that, and uh, tap on OK when I'm done. The background thing, I can also change the color. So if I want to play the sample from here, mute the sound. You can see this is what the animation looks like after I just clicked on it. So pretty cool, and everything is stitched together as you would want. Uh, finally, going on to transitions, again, this gives you a better idea what some of those are like. This is just a sample one. This is what the blind looks like. Um, again, you get all the essentials done, and uh, of course, more effects as well that are a bit fancier and uh, could work actually quite well if you are creating images or slideshows, now that I think about it. Filters, different types of colors, you also get plenty of those. So again, the list just goes on and on, and you can always search by name specifically. They give you a directory on their website, which is simpler to find. 
overlays, which creates a border or a cropped effect on some of your videos that you can tap on to, to play. So some of them require a quick download from the web. Uh, that may take, again, additional 30 seconds. Elements include this kind of CGI type special effects. So this is what I was talking about. I downloaded some of these from the uh, movie pack that they gave me. So we have access to things like lasers. And again, this is part of the paid package that you may pay $30 for to get this done. But uh, again, this is something kind of fun to play around with if you are creating, let's say, a short animated film. And it actually looks relatively convincing, which is good. So here's a blast. and. Hopefully, we'll get an idea of what that part is like. And in addition to the blast or the explosions, you can also play around with bullets, uh, electricity, um, explosions. Again, this will completely determine and be based on the packages that you buy. But there are a few pre-drawn ones as well, which are for free included with the software. But again, these ones up here, the special effects ones, are from an extra package that they gave us from their effects store. Split screen view allows me to actually view two kind of screens at the same time. So I can, under one, I can view one video. Under two, I can view something completely different. Same thing with all of these different types of filters. So it's actually very interesting. It gives you quite a lot of customization. And again, the best thing is that the preview is almost instantaneous. You can start playing it back and uh, accessing the videos uh, without any delay, basically. For export, you can choose a number of different file formats. You can change the re resolution all the way to 1080p. And from here, you can save it to a destination and also choose a different type of device that's specially formatted to work uh, better, that's compressed. I can also upload it to YouTube faster by tapping on this. You can sign in. It's going to upload it for you online when you have an internet connection. And you can also upload it to things like Facebook, Vimo, uh, and create a DVD even. Burn it onto a DVD when you have one inserted onto your computer. So very complete in terms of the things that you would want to do with it, from creating different animations, editing, to even creating uh, an intro for your YouTube videos. So all in all, it's definitely a pretty powerful video editing tool that I think I enjoy using uh, that uh, basically works as you would want for slicing everything together and working relatively quickly. So that's pretty much our hands-on impressions review of Filmora. Uh, we'll do some more in-depth testing and, of course, come out with a more complete written review. But this has been our first look. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed by it. Uh, of course, the price is a little high, especially if you're like me. And sometimes I just use the free YouTube editor tool that gives me most of the things I want, but without as many advanced filters and transi transition effects. Um, this is as simple to use, and it doesn't take up any time at all. Everything just works simply uh, just clicking and going. But again, if you are invested into buying lots of these filtering sets, then the, the entire package can get actually quite expensive. Perhaps Filmora will come out with a complete uh, kind of version with all of their filters and effects in one box, pre-included with the video editor as a package. And that might make a bit more sense if you want the entire solution. Uh, but other than the price, I think that uh, you do get a lot of options on here, both for the novice and for the pro looking for a solid video editing tool as we head into 2017. And again, the YouTube editor is going to be discontinued. So thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews. This has been a closer look at the Filmora video editing tool.